I feel all gangsters are slightly crazy. Have you ever seen a gangster, Baba? What kind of question is that? Although I must say, not really a gangster, but I have seen someone who had all the traits to be one. A do-gooder, unpredictable, aggressive, crazy and all that. In Calcutta you get all kinds. So you have seen a gangster? In those days your grandfather befriended a man who was a do-gooder. Before you even ask, a do-gooder is someone who helps people even if they don't want help. Let us call this friend Mr. Help. Mr. Help? Did he have a gun? Did he wear a suit? No, he did not have guns. He was a do-gooder. I am not sure how my father became his friend, but I felt he treated my father as a younger brother. Your grandpa also respected him. Whenever Mr. Help visited our place, he hardly spoke to my mother or me. However, he talked softly to my father and did whatever business they had. They used to go out in the car. I think he gave driving lessons to my father. He was a man of few words and your grandpa did not say much about him as well. But he has to be weird to be a gangster. Mr. Help was weird. Whenever Mr. Help passed by, all the kids on the street went quiet. Mr. Help used to at times get dizzy on the street and talk gibberish as well. Sometimes he will run from one end of the street to the other shouting ra -ra 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 -ra. Run? Why? Did he have exercise or something? I doubt it. Once I asked my uncle. Uncle politely said, Mr. Help has taken a shower and had medicine. I thought maybe Mr. Help was drunk. The eeriness sounding Mr. Help made me strongly believe that Mr. Help could be the gangster. He had no gangs though. Every Sunday Mr. Help will pick up a fight with someone. If nobody fought with him, he will join a fight where others were fighting. Yes! Fight! 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 What was that all about? Anyway, at times Mr. Help will also lead a protest march where he was the only protester but pretend to be a leader of many, protesting on issues which he thought were significant, such as why will the local doctor not get his noisy old car fixed? Why did the doctor use a bad horn? He ticked all the boxes of being a gangster. Eerie, unpredictable, had medicine that make you feel dizzy, fight, help others, protest on relevant issues. And then he ticked the last box. He turned crazy. Think realistically, can he actually be crazier than this? He did. He turned total crazy. One day, actually one night, Mr. Help suddenly came to our house very, very late. He was dressed in a red cloak and wore a wrap around. He had a red color all over his face and his eyes were all red as well. He entered the house, hugged my father and started chanting something which I could never understand. He also carried a sword, a shiny one, and I thought he's going to kill us all. He jumped up on the couch and said something to me as well. It was loud, scary and weird. Bom Kali! Joy Matara! He screamed. He gave one of his gibberish speeches and left in a hurry, not before giving your grandfather another hug. Oh my god! D did you ask grandpa? Wh what was that? I did. And he said, Mr. Help blessed us so that we are always out of trouble. He was his friend. And he was a do-gooder after all. Oh, well, 
I wish I saw that sword, though. What? I mean, are you turning crazy or what? That was the closest I came to seeing a gangster. That night still gives me shivers. That crazy Mr. Help or what? Like, Dad never explained to me even today why he had a friend like that. Anyway, I did not see much of Mr. Help after that day. He vanished and soon we moved houses as well. Baba, did you ever see a normal gangster? Yeah, you.